Cavs King and fellow Sam Orushin. This is another episode of Yakuza 4 and in today's episode Mishima's at the docks. I should prepare just in case and head there by cab. You know what's another thing I actually did in Yakuza Kiwami? I managed to finish every single fucking restaurant in the game including this one. It's actually in Kiwami as well. So this business manages to stay afloat throughout all these games. Actually, I don't know what year this game is supposedly taking place in, but... <clears throat> Blood orange juice, that sounds fucking cool. Milk tea, oh, I'm buying fucking milk tea, I love milk tea. Do I not get any food? Here you go, eggplant and bacon spaghetti. I'm not a fan of eggplant. Shrimp and tomato spaghetti, now that's better. With meat sauce, that's like the most basic one. Chili pepper cod row. Not sure what cod row means. Rich egg cabron. I like this one the most. If I was in this restaurant. Only fucking thing I ate today was fucking toast. Toast for breakfast, toast for lunch, at my lunch break at work. And then after I came back I ate some toast as well. Cause I'm fucking poor. Or my cooking skills are poor and I don't feel like hitting up the fucking store after work and buying myself some huge dinner. Man, day isn't fucking long enough for me to take care of all the shit I wanna do. It's like 10 hours longer. That'd probably be like 5 years younger or something and also have much more time throughout the day to do stuff I need to do. So I'm not sure how would the human body adapt to a much longer day. How would the calendar look? That's a fucking interesting thing to ponder about. Look at this guy's sign. It's like the textures on both sides. It's a very fucking simple model. It's literally fucking two rectangles attached to each other. One of them has something written on it. Anyway, we're following the fucking plot. Or we're going to the golf course. No, we're not fucking going to the golf course. I already did that before. Ask Tony Mura. That was when I pulled off a fucking hole in one. Look, the main plot, I can fucking open the drink I got here. It's been sitting in my fridge for like ages. It's black energy. Bellini. It's another pink one. I don't know what is it with all these pink energy drinks I find recently. They're all pink. Who the fuck is there? Oh, it's that guy. I forgot this is who we're looking for. He's the stupid idiot from the very beginning of the game. Who's just simply been parting with the other guy. And the other guy got fucking murdered while this guy hasn't gotten murdered yet. I got a feeling he ain't gonna live. He doesn't look like a character who gets to live. His hair isn't nearly as detailed. I mean, characters with detailed hair also live, but... This guy is definitely not gonna fucking survive this shit. He's too fucking annoying and stupid looking for that. Are you a detective? Yeah, this drink sucks. It's a fucking weird taste. What the fuck is that supposed to be? It tastes like someone put perfume in it. Fucking garbage. Perfume. Fucking fumes. Yeah. I'm here to place you under protection. Okay, I got a lot of fucking videos to record this week. I need to record this video and upload it immediately. I need to. I want to record Tekken 8 demo gameplay. I gotta record my Christmas special. And I wanted to record uh, another demo gameplay of Yakuza 8. So that'd be cool, because Yakuza Gaiden actually has a demo of Yakuza 8 inside of it, which is really cool. I got a feeling that when 8 comes out, it's gonna eat up so much of my life. That game just feels like it's gonna be huge. It has that whole fucking island mode, where you fucking just straight up play a different game, and you gotta take care of a fucking island. 
It's ridiculous. It's like Animal Crossing, but stupid. Animal Crossing is already kind of stupid, but this one's even dumber. And the funny thing is that when I was playing Seven, Yakuza Seven, I wanted to show it to my friends, and I turned on the game, and I was like, "Oh, look at that! There's the like games within the game." And we started playing Virtual Fight Five instead, and we just kept playing that game instead of actually playing Yakuza Seven, like I meant to show them. Well, if you keep your part of the bargain, give me the dirt and what do you want to say what been doing behind the scenes and I'll make sure you stay out of harm's way. Then that's a deal. I'll talk. And he's about to get shot. As soon as he's gonna... As soon as he's about to tell me something important, he's probably gonna get killed. It's like this. Me and Nikara were ordered to go make a scene at the club Elnar. Why? Yeah, I guess Ihara, the other guy who got fucking killed at the very beginning of the game, by the the other guy. Who, I think he's the main villain of this fucking game? I honestly can't fucking tell you who the villains of this game are, the Ueno Seiwa clan. Who the fuck are they? Who's the head honcho who represents them? I don't fucking know. Nobody said Katsuragi just told us that. Who the fuck is Katsuragi? I feel like that name... Keep showing up throughout this fucking series. I mean, this last play, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. But I don't remember who the fuck that is. Steer shit up, so he follows his orders. But then this prick showed up, Akiyama from Sky Finance. Yeah, Akiyama. He fucked up the entire game plan. I don't remember nothing about his. He busted the bottle over my head. Next thing I knew, I was in Champagne District. Champion District. I don't know why the fuck I keep calling it Champagne District sometimes. Sometimes I do call it correctly. It's fucking weird. Still haven't beaten Gaiden, though I did got to Pocket Circuit. And pretty much yesterday I played the game a whole fucking day, and the only thing I did was fucking Pocket Circuit. It's... I thought they would improve it a bit. I mean, improve it. Expand on it, but it's fuck. It's pretty much the same as it was. It's exactly the same, except looks better, I guess. And you have different characters. And now instead of paying for the parts with your real money, you have to pay for the parts with uh, points you earn through races. And you also have like rival races where you meet characters around the city. And you know what? The game starts in Yokohama, the location of Yakuza 7, and I thought maybe that's actually where the game takes place, but no, it seems like we're actually back in Sotenbori. Which, if you don't remember, that's the location from Yakuza 0 and Kiwami 2. And yeah, it seems like we're back in Sotenbori, and this time it's slightly bigger than it was in Kiwami 2. It features one... Uh, the park, the park you could access in Yakuza 0, that then you later couldn't access for some reason, in Kiwami 2, you can access it again in Gaiden. And it seems like that's the main city of that game. I don't even know if we're gonna go back to Kamurocho, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, maybe there's some point in the game where you go back to Yokohama, because you got to explore half of it at the beginning of the game, and then the... and then they just simply stopped... Like you went to Sotin Bori and that's where the game just stayed. And also... Yakuza 5 will also go back to you, uh, Sotin Bori, so that's cool. I guess if you like Sotin Bori, I do. It's a cool place, it's very nice looking. In 6 you go to Hiroshima. You know what, 5 features a fuck ton of locations. They're pretty cool actually. I must have been carried... Carried me over, woke up surrounded by garbage bins, no sign of a car anywhere. Why the champion district? The two of us got shit faced there a lot. Dad and it's close to Eleanard. Kara must have been freaked out. I bet someone was chasing him if he ditched me like that. Started looking for him so I could find out what happened and figure out the next our next move. Had no idea what a shitstorm this whole thing had become. Anyway, I've been walking around Kamurocha for a while then. I found him. Body anyway. Practically puked when I saw that. I couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I knew was that I was scared shitless, so I ran as far as I could. I ended up at the Wenos Sevo headquarters, but I barely remembered how I got there. Ah, shit. What is it with my head? It's keep itching all day. Found an empty room where to chill the fuck out. I'd catch my breath and try to digest all the shit that just went down. 
That's when I heard Katsuragi. He was in the next room talking to somebody on the phone. What did he say? I can't say I heard everything. He was in another room and he'd already been talking for a while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But what he said next that freaked me out. He said, Ihara's dead, just as planned. We'll get rid of Mishima as soon as we find him. Got the fuck out right then there, thankfully before anybody saw me. Keeping it low pro ever since. And he's about to get killed. What did I fucking say? Did you have any doubts this guy's gonna become a new best friend and he's gonna, I don't fucking know, follow me throughout the story? Of course not. It's the asshole detective, I think. I don't know, he saved me a couple of times. He didn't seem like an asshole. But we knew that Katsuragi has some kind of connection to the police and that someone on the force is a rat. So, I mean, it had to be him. Like, fucking, they couldn't pre-render this so I don't have to read shit? You're one surprised after the next, kid. Getting this close to the truth and all by yourself, I'm damn near impressed. Also, I think last episode we found out that Tanimura's dad isn't actually who he thought it was. We found that his real dad was a different detective. So he's still a descendant of a detective raised by a different detective. It's funny, I guess. Lots of detectives. I don't seem too phased by all this. I just say I had a feeling it'd show up. Yeah, so you bait, baited organized crime to see if you could lure out the traitor. Something like that. Are you not surprised to see it's me? Not really. Though I can't say I wanted it this way. How'd you know it was me? Gambling's dumb luck, detective's hunch. So each sound a good hunch comes from keen observation. Didn't you learn that back at the academy? <laughs> it must have slipped my mind. So, what tipped you off? I mean, you're the only one who fucking fitted all this shit. I've known you were no ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes, they always look brand new. Not exactly practical for homicide cop work and murder scheme scenes. Normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. Uh, was I supposed to fucking pick up on that? It's just that we knew Sukuichi had a rat on the inside of police force. And there's nobody who fitted better than him. The watch too, it's way too expensive for the tech salary. It's too high end, I doubt your average person ever heard of the brand. And if they did, their head would explode at the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you have it all? Instinct and sharp eye. Why is this revolver like tiny? What the fuck? It's like slightly too small. Sukuchi san, you really think it was all me? I haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue stage when I met up with Katsuragi sending Chief Kisai ahead of ahead to homeland. It almost feels like you've been waiting to me, wanting me to catch on. What are you talking about? Been working with Katsuragi for the last 25 years. Now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? I paid a visit to archive room 14 and saw the report to do an Asewa hit. What? The fuck are you talking about? You and my dad were both assigned to that case. Only the two of you could have covered up something as big as Katsuragi butchering 18 of his own people, and I know it wasn't him. Yeah, it was Seijima, who butchered the people, not covered up the butchering. You were only, you were ordered by someone up to uh, alter the facts, blah blah blah. Fucking Jesus Christ, don't protect your good friend Katsuragi. You know what, if I wanted to fucking read so much fucking text, I would have grabbed a fucking book. Not turn on a fucking action game. Tell me I'm wrong. Shut your fucking mouth. You know, it would have been fucking hilarious if the next scene, Tanimura just laying on the ground dead. <laughs> and he just fucking got killed and I said, end of story. You don't know the first fucking thing about that case or about me. Can we just have the boss fight? Oh, that was close. He almost pulled the trigger. 
Maybe he missed me because he doesn't fucking pull it right, dumbass. Who the fuck trained these cops? Look guys, I'm on the right side of the law. Though I feel like we should have a boss fight with this guy, right? Were they... Did I contact all these guys to do this ambush? We don't care though. We just killed someone in front of us. If you won't go to jail for the other thing you did, we'll go to jail for the murder you just committed. Also, why the fuck didn't they shoot him? He just pulled a gun on me. Well, later, that's it. Well, don't tell me he's got so much influence on the force that you can't even do shit to him. Yeah, fucking kill him. Why not? You know, where I live, police can't shoot people either, so... Blast this fool. Well, his eyebrows went through the glasses. What a shitty fucking pre-rendered cutscene. Well, I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah, I do have a gun with me the whole fucking time. これが俺の警察官としての正義だ。アニムラ。お前やっぱり見込みがある男だぜ。現場で<笑> <間違いねえよ。それは、ありがたいね。分かった。笑> You know what, I was thinking about the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer recently, a lot. The fuck is he doing? Just running away? What an asshole. It's yeah, just fucking ridiculous. It's really shitty when they don't know what to do with the villain and they just make him act completely not how he used to. Like this guy all of a sudden became a huge dickhead and an asshole. And now he's just running away in a fucking speedboat? Like what even is this shit? Oh, this is rather nice. Well, I'm gonna take a speedboat too. Good thing they had another speedboat. With the keys in. And good thing I know how to drive a speedboat. Or is it sail a speedboat? I don't know. I imagine sailing is more of a... I actually get to fucking use it? Alright. Exit minigame. Yeah, I wanna fucking exit. I don't feel like it. Quick attack, shoot. This reminds me of Raymond Free. Do I get to dodge his shot? It's like that boss fight against Ryder in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'll give him that, it's fucking unique as fuck. I don't remember a boat. Chase scene in the Yakuza game. Or even better, this is like Grand Theft Auto 4. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a lot of boat chase sequences in that game. Oh no. The music's fucking hilarious. Boats ridiculously close to each other, what the fuck? No, they should... Yakuza 7 has a fucking whole kart racing minigame where you genuinely have to race a bunch of people on gold karts. It's hilarious. The 
that deal more damage to him? It's a long fucking chase sequence. Yeah, so I was thinking about the trailer and you know how when Grand Theft Auto 5 Laszlo made an appearance after only appearing on the radio as a voice. He finally made a physical appearance where you can meet him and even tattoo a fucking dick on his chest. In the story of Grand Theft Auto 5, well I was thinking there's another character who's been appearing on the radio consistently in every Grand Theft Auto game since the third one. And he was also on the radio in the fifth game but did not make a physical appearance yet. And I would absolutely love if he made an appearance physically in Grand Theft Auto 6. And it would make the most sense for him to appear in this one physically because Vice City is I think where he lives and operates mainly. And it's Fernando Martinez. In Grand Theft Auto 3 he was just on the radio like promoting his book on Chatterbox. So he was actually on the same station as Vaslo. Then in Vice City he actually was the host of Emotion. In Vice City Stories he was the co-host of Emotion. So you can and from his stories he tells in the station, you can tell that he actually does live in Vice City. That Emotion is a station that operates from Vice City. This was absolutely fucking bonkers, ridiculous, dumbass, goofy shit I ever seen. We did a fucking circle all around the fucking see here just to end up in the same fucking place where we were just for me to finally shoot him could have shot him earlier yeah I don't care that wasn't my actual dad as we found out last episode yeah I kind of fucking imagined that actually I think I used this on a thumbnail before because it was one of the shots from the opening of the game. <laughs> I arrested him. Yeah, for real, no more speedboats. Fucking idiot. He's also voicing Vice City FF. How do I fight a guy who's connected to me? Oh my god, what? How are we gonna manage a fight that... It's like this? Is it all just gonna be QTV? QT? Can't imagine, really. Oh, he's gonna break the chain. If I remember correctly, fight against this guy is annoying as fuck. You know why? Because he just fucking... I don't know, there's some bullshit where it's like really annoying. That's not it. He does some bullshit like where he gets behind you really easily. I think that's it. Have I landed a single hit on him? Oh, what a jackass. Oh, does he have the fucking tiger drop? Or is he fucking trained by Komaki? Yeah, so he actually hosts Vice City FM in Grand Theft Auto 4. Which I imagine must be... A radio station obviously operated from Vice City. Just that you know, Vice City is in Florida and Liberty Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City is in. Oh my god, what is this fucking stupid, goofy ass music? What is with this episode? It's completely nonsensical bullshit. It's like the writers just. It's like they had a day off and someone else wrote this part. They're like, oh, I got it. I'll make the music too while I'm at it. Man, this guy's annoying, I told you. I can't fucking land a hit on him. That's that kick I really like. 
think the only way to get him is by trying parry. Good thing I got my parry into the fuck ton. Anymore, like he's right there, you can like stop missing him. Ah, shit. Also, I was thinking if this episode takes way too long to defeat this motherfucker. Then I'm going to, I guess, record two episodes, but if I manage to beat this and get back to some sort of a safe point before the episode ends... Oh, I got a lo low health. But I've lost it right there and there. If the episode won't be over 30 minutes, then I'll actually manage to, you know, record the whole fucking thing in one, in one sitting. One nice episode. I'll record the fucking Tekken 8 video. I'll probably be shorter, I probably won't play that much. It's not like I'm a big fan of Tekken or anything, it's just that I heard 8 from the... It's just I heard the demo is really fucking good and that game's shaping up to look really fucking cool. Which is really cool for fighting game fans. I'm not a big fighting game fan. But we can all have Street Fighter 6 from what I've seen. It's so fucking cool, Street Fighter 6, that even I, who never cared about any Street Fighter game, considered playing it. Not this shit again, bro. Come on. Find some new material. I was fighting him with a bullet wound in his shoulder. Come on. Oh, come on, you can't do that. I was blocking. I'm way too slow, Jesus. No, my heat. All of it. I can do a heat move on you, you fucker. Nah, what a jackass. Smashing the fuck out of X. Now screw you, this is fucking undoable. I'm smashing the fuck out. Broke my fucking thumb almost. Screw the fucking fish. I think we're actually past the 30 minute mark. Probably all the fucking reading and bullshit boat chases. This guy sucks ass. Good thing I got a million fucking healing items in my equipment. Come on, fucking do it. And that's what happens. I fucking hit him once and he blocks everything. Honestly, expect him to do. I can barely land any hits on him. He's a piece of shit. Imagine if I had this fight as uh, Saijima. He'd be dead already. Can't even keep up my heat because this fucker drains it immediately as I gain it.
Fucker. Piece of shit, I ain't. Impossible. Fuck, not to do this. Jackass. I thought we got Street Fighter 6, which is a good fighting game. It would make me consider maybe playing it. Ah, whatever. I wish I could pull out a gun or something, that'd be dope. But I guess they did Sean in the cutscene, my gun flew off somewhere. Oh, right in the fucking nuts. Right in the fucking nards, you piece of shit. And in the cutscene I lose. What a long fucking episode. Oh, it's only 30 minutes. Now if this cutscene wrapped up quickly, that would have been nice, but it ain't gonna happen. Kill him, come on. I'm a cop. If I were a Yakuza or something, maybe I would have pulled the trigger. Man, I would be fucking all over it if some bullshit like this happened. Because this fucking happens a lot in Yakuza, where someone has someone at gunpoint and then they have a monologue. A monologue. Just fucking talk a bunch of shit. I wish someone just shot somebody right in the fucking head. That would've been cool. I wasn't paying attention. What is he saying? Oh. He was the rat from the beginning. そっちの ヤクザ。じゃあ、25年前の上野義晴襲撃事件の真犯人が yeah, I can fucking imagine that you're gonna sit here for the next 20 minutes explaining me the fucking plot. I looked inside, Jima. Now he got shot for real. He killed the boss. He killed everybody. In the coolest fucking scene in this entire series. He murdered the whole fucking restaurant like a badass. Went to prison for 25 years. Can I skip this cutscene? I wish I could skip this cutscene because uh, this cutscene reveals. I can't skip it. You know what? I would have been fine if this guy was revealed to have survived. Like, okay, Katsuragi survived. Maybe he anticipated something going wrong. But the fact that everybody apparently fucking survived and it was just fine is fucking bullshit. We fucking saw him shooting up everyone. He was fucking shooting people in the face and shit. What's what was so much fucking blood? And well Saijima left and all of them got up like nothing happened. I hate this fucking garbage. Oh look, he's the one who really killed. I refuse to acknowledge this as canon. I genuinely do. I hate this guy. He sucks ass. Really? Haven't Seijima fucking shot a bunch of people in the face? Haven't he shot people where 
fucking bled all over the fucking restaurant. Have you not? I feel like he totally fucking did. What sage man didn't notice that? Oh wait, I'm shooting rubber bullets. That's not how guidance will work, of course. See, the scene would have been better if it was revealed that at least he survived. And the boss. And he's the one who actually killed the boss, but Saijima still killed everyone else. Like, fuck off. They only did it because you play as Saijima. And they didn't want it to have a protagonist who's a fucking murderer, I guess. What the I get the fuck out of here with this fucking dog shit plot twist. Yeah. Pulled out of their fucking ass. This game's story fucking sucks. I don't even know what the fuck it's about. Some win to save a clan. I don't know what the fuck they want. Got some ties with the police. I don't fucking give a shit to be honest. This plot's stupid. I would like if this game was just about Akiyama or something. I would have had a much better time following the fucking plot. <laughs> See, he survived. Do you think rubber bullets in the shoulder fucking knock you out? Get the fuck out of here. Should have shot him in the head. Then himself. Wow, it's fucking long. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what無理がありすぎるよ、杉内君。この程度の報告書で私の目をごまかせるとでも思ったのかね。あの狭い店内、犯人の再島が20人もの組員とやり合うには、かなり無茶な乱闘になったはずだ。当然、再島も抵抗を
そうすれば今回のこの事件君の報告書通りの結末にするが、ね so、the chief of police is evil too? I don't fucking give a shit I'm a bit sick of this game's fucking bullshit story It's starting to piss me off to be honest That's a cool shot Make for a great thumbnail but I already had a thumbnail like that If he's backed up, maybe he should fucking. You know? Or a hooker or something. What? You shit yourself from the fucking beating I gave you? Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna kill you anyway. You ain't gonna buy me with that zombie fucking backstory of you. Look, everybody struggles their own fucking struggles. Made no sense. Whatever. That doesn't mean yours are fucking greater than mine. Some people resolve huge struggles very easily, while other people, you know, struggle very much with very simple struggles. What I'm trying to say, not everyone's life is. Everyone's life is faced with difficulties, but people deal with them differently, and the difficulties also vary. So just because this guy was living a lie and was a secret Yakuza and shit doesn't mean that me living a fucking life of a detective whose father had been dead for years under this guy's fucking wings doesn't mean that my life's been fucking sunshine and rainbows and that I can fucking cry about his sobby backstory and fucking spare him. Also, excuse me, but isn't the hangar right next to us full of cops? Couldn't they like come out and arrest this fucking idiot? This fucking episode is stupid. We went to save some guy. He got shot immediately. Then this guy revealed himself to be a bad guy. We went on a nice little fucking boat ride. Came back exactly where we fucking left. Or is this meant to be a different dock? It's... I don't know. It's an identical fucking dock then. And then... He beat his ass, he told us his sobby backstory With piano music in the background We found out the dumbest fucking plot twist imaginable The whole reason why I actually don't like the theme story Actually, I think fifth game story is even dumber I think it's Better than this game story, it's just that it's so fucking confusing, I have no idea what the fuck the fifth game story is about. I cannot even recall you who the main bad guy is, some fucking detective, from what I remember. And the final boss is some guy you would never expect him to be. Because I guess they run out of characters who could be the final bad guys. Final boss fights, they were like, let's make this guy the final boss fight. And reveal that he was actually the son of the detective. And it's like, oh shit. Now it all makes sense, I guess. Well, everything about your father has been revealed. We found out in the sub story that it wasn't even your dad. If you found out it wasn't your dad, you could have gave up on trying to find his killer, because who cares about a killer of some guy who raised you if it's not your real dad? I'll have a tic tac if you don't mind. This is a self-destructing cigar. It will blow up once I'm done. Killing us both. Can this fucking cutscene be any slower? Right, thank you. Tanimura, whoever killed him. 
ことに言われてる。And what was all this backstory for, huh? Just for you to be killed? Oh, what's that? I think that was the chief of police. You saw him a little bit, right? He was wearing blue and had gray hair. You've been shot in the heart, homie. You're dead. And if not, you should be vomiting blood out of your mouth. What the fuck is this game? I'm so sick of it. Just stay dead, Jesus Christ. I'm your father. It'd be funny if he sh shat himself after dying, because that's what people do when they die. <laughs> Just completely ruin the fucking moment. Man, this episode's fucked up long. I hate it. I wanted to record another episode like I fucking told you. But I don't think I'm gonna do it with this fucking game keep putting cutscenes up my ass. I think he's the guy who shot him. I don't know what the fuck that entails, to be honest. I don't give a shit. Police are evil. Fuck the police. Okay, got it. That wasn't him? Oh, it was the other guy. He's the one who shot? Oh man, this old... Not very evil looking guy was evil all along and he kidnapped my friends, I think. Now he's gonna fucking slaughter them with a butcher's knife. And fuck the police for real. Well, finally, somebody's got another fucking gun that. They didn't took it from a fucking museum. I imagine he shot himself in the head. Part 3 complete! Can we save the game and I can fucking... There you go, save data, yes. I'm finishing this episode. We're gonna play as Kiryu now, I think. Yeah, I think we're actually we are gonna play as Kiryu. I just replaced a save file from fucking 29th of May. Jesus Christ, I've been playing this game for fucking long. Though I did took a break from it for like four fucking months. Kazuma Kiryu, who the fuck is that? I don't know, see you fellas in the next episode, bye.